Not everybody that can fight can teach, and not everybody that can teach can fight. Hi, everybody. This is Chief Francis from Filipino Martial Arts School, and today we're going to talk about how not everybody can fight can teach, and not everybody can teach can fight. So um, recently, somebody had commented on my video that they believe that the techniques or the, the philosophy that I've been teaching makes a lot of sense, but they want to see me, they want me to post some videos of my of me fighting in the back in the day to be able to, so that they would believe me, I guess, in that sense. So a couple of things I want to point out on that one. One, um, I don't post videos based upon people's uh, request. Uh, I, now, don't get me wrong, I don't think this person was demanding to see these videos, but they were definitely requesting it. I don't post videos upon request. I will consider it. And if I feel like it's a, it's a per, pertinent uh, um, a, a topic, then I'll go ahead and, and enter and I'll, I'll put something together. But if it's not, then you know I just kind of just move on. Um, I still appreciate people's suggestions. Don't get me wrong, but again, I just put them as a suggestion, not as a as I like as, as a demand type of thing. Secondly, I'm going to be the first one to admit to you all right now that I wasn't the greatest competitor. Okay, I did not win all my matches. I think uh, I won like. Like I took a gold win one division and a, and a silver in a second division, and um, and I never competed at the at a regional or national qualifying tournament um, because it just wasn't something that that was I guess it wasn't just in my wheelhouse. Um, but I enjoyed the the technical skills about it, right? Um, just like people who who love watching a specific sport. They might not be the athlete that, that they want to be, but they, they can still appreciate the game, right? Um, so, yeah, I wasn't always, I was never the greatest competitor, but a, being a competitor and being a fighter is two different things, right? A competitor is an athlete. It's a, it's a, it's a sport. A fighter is somebody who has to defend their life or defend their family. Kind of two different things. So, um, but I've always appreciated, I've always kind of had a, uh, an eye for it and a mindset for it to see what what works and what doesn't work and what I think would would get the best out of out of uh, out of the fighter now 95% of that 95% of that came from my training with Chief Joe Chief Sonny Napiels uh, Guru Henry Guru John and Guru Ariel 95% of what I know as far as comp competition is concerned came from from those gentlemen uh, they're my teachers. They're my they're my elders. They're my brothers. Uh, Chief Sonny and Chief Joe are like a, another father to me. Um, so I, I definitely got ninety five percent of the information. Now, it might sound disrespectful that I'm only saying ninety five. The reason why I'm I'm, I'm saying ninety five is because, and Master Sonny has said this many times. My job as his student was to take it to the next step, the next uh, and the next step in the evolution. So I say ninety five because of course now. 16 years into uh, teaching Filipino martial arts, I picked up a thing or two as well, right? Observing and, and watching and then just learning it from, from other fighters as well, other competitors as well. I, you know, I've, ga I've gained more knowledge from that. But definitely the baseline, the, the foundation, the, the, the knowledge that I, that, have, I, that, I, that I base upon my other knowledges on is based upon that 95% that those gentlemen have taught me. And then that's also the barometer that I use to say, hey, you know, that what I'm being, what I'm learning from this person makes a lot of sense I, against what I was being taught. Um, so, so that, that's the, the main thing there. So when somebody is posting something about how they think that they would actually listen to me more if I post my videos, be, uh, be, I don't think it just, that goes hand in hand, gentlemen. Um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, sorry, but I don't know if that guy was a guy. Um, but, it doesn't go hand in hand. But what's, I think what's most important is not seeing whether or not I was a good fighter, but whether or not how good are my, are my students or my fighters are, right? Because if my students are doing well and I'm the one that taught them, then that means I can, I can take the information that was given to me and share it to the next generation. I say that because not every fighter is a great teacher. And not every teacher is a, is, is a, is a great competitor or a great fighter. Um, now, I believe that anybody who learns any uh, martial arts 
um, has the cap has the capacity to defend themselves and to defend their family, given enough uh, given enough skills and knowledge, they can definitely do that and be and 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 unleash a veracity of skills to to those who's trying to put harm on them and their loved ones, but not necessarily that's something that they can translate to the next person. So, again, to go back to the original point. When this person asking, you know, they would be they would be more inclined to believe me if they saw my videos. I think you'd be more inclined. I think it's better for you to to watch my fighters, my students, my competitors' videos because uh, my my stu my my students who are competing their videos because that is the ultimate barometer or that's the ultimate measure of whether or not I am a good coach slash teacher. Right, you're you're saying that you 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 think you like what I'm saying, you you or you you think you like what I'm teaching, but you think you but watching my videos will will prove that no. I think you need to watch the videos of my fighters, and how what is the results of of their competition? Now we've competed in many uh, tur local tournaments as well as the the recent national tournament as well as uh, a world championship back in 2018 pre-pandemic days. Right, um, and I'll just say this: in twenty, in the twenty sixteen twenty eighteen um, uh, tournament season, um, I had three fighters that was that was planning to go to the world championship. That that season, it was going to be in Lisbon, Portugal, for GSBA. I had three fighters that competed at regionals. They all qualified for the nationals, so they became regional champion. They became national champion, and then qualified to compete at the world championship. And they all came home with gold. And then, and then, of course, the pandemic happened. So the next big tournament that we actually uh, uh, participated in was this March at the national tournament. And then all, I brought five fighters, and all five fighters are now national champions. And even in the local tournaments, like we went to the Legends tournament um, in uh, 2022. I brought two fighters. Both of them came home with gold uh, in 2023. Last year, I believe I brought six fighters. And they all came home with gold, and two of them even became um, all-around champion. Um, so, you know, we do pretty well. And again, that is the ultimate, the ultimate, bar that's the ultimate um, barometer of whether or not I'm a good coach or not. Because even though I might have not been the best competitor, I bring out the best competitors in my students. I don't know. Do you agree? Please comment down below. And if you are looking for a coach that, will, that can take you to the championship, please visit us at www fmaschool.com fill out the get started form and let's get started today until next time this is chief francis from filipino martial arts school peace out god bless and keep swinging them sticks